This is a review of dart rotation. I have found that students have similar questions when they're working on it, so let's go over the screen for a minute. When you first come in, look down and make sure this says Imperial. If it doesn't, remember to go back up to Edit, User Environment, and change it to Imperial. I didn't change it, so I don't need to save it. Another thing I've seen students run into is down here at the bottom of the screen, some of you has, have asked about using the Snap To feature. You can snap to the grid or the geometry, and it can be precise. Most of the time, beginning students have trouble with those features, so when you're looking to see if you're in Imperial, make sure those are all turned off unless you specifically want to use them and know that if you are using them, they could be more of a problem than a help, depending on what you do. And I will show you an example of that. The simplest thing I want to review is this um, dart rotation. Somebody was turning this into a dart and wanted to know why, and this is a very common question, why the dart is sticking out like this. And it's because the wrong side was chosen. You know, when you fold the flap to go down, then it's shaped inward. And when you fold the flap to go up, it's shaped downward. Pointy. So if I use my original, and please remember to change the name of it. Don't leave your name on them and then save them. I mean, don't leave, don't leave the original and then save that. That's a dangerous thing. Okay, so this is my demo version. If I want to fold close my dart end, like this one, I would go up to advanced darts and fold. Make sure that I include my fold lines and my notches like this one has. It has the fold line and the notches, and I have that chosen, but it says to select the dart on the side to fold to. So, in this one, we folded it on the upside, so it went up. So I'm going to undo that and choose the downside because I want the flap to fold down, and now the neck, the armhole looks more normal. So it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. So you'll want to make sure you do that. And then this one was one that a student turned in. And it looks almost normal the dart is coming to the bus point, and for a first time, some of us really struggle with this the first couple of weeks. And that's the least of its problems. So if I get down my very original and go back and look at it compared to that, why is it so different? Because it's very different. It's not going to fit the same. I mean, I guess it could be more different, but our shoulder angle has changed. Has the amount of darting changed? Yeah, it, it has changed. And the angle of the dart has changed. So there might be some fit issues with that one underneath. And the way that that one became this way is because we had the button pushed to grid. So I'm going to show you what happens when you've got your button chosen and grid is highlighted. If you want to rotate your dart, you'd go up to advanced manipulate and rotate, choose your dart to rotate, and the rotation point location, instead of snapping to the shoulder seam where I touched, it located 
down here where it says grid it located on a grid corner and then when I choose the hold line it did choose that line and the opening point that I wanted it to go to will say that, that if I choose it isn't it isn't even letting me choose that so I'll try that again select the dart to rotate the rotation point location I'm touching right there on the bus point but it didn't choose the bus point it chose a point over here the hold line the new opening point so it didn't choose where I was aiming it it chose a grid mark I'm not choosing any internal lines so I'm gonna say okay and when I try to choose a new position for the dart end and I want it roughly here it did let me do that but I think on the demo model that I showed you it didn't let her do that so I have because I have grid on, it was snapping to the grid spots instead. So I'm going to turn that off. And this one isn't going to fit very well. The shoulder trajectory has changed. And if I rotated the dart back, it would be in a different place. So if it's not going where you're aiming, it's probably not your fault. You just need to undo that setting. So do you see how this is curved right here? If you have a curved shoulder seam, this, this line should be straight. And if it's curved and you go up to view, is it view that I want to be in? Nope, it's verify. No, it is, it's view. So in view, under point, intermediate point, it says to choose the piece to verify, and I touch that and say, okay, I've got this point that's coming between those two, and that either means that because of my rotation point being in the wrong place, my initial line point was in the correct place and so my trajectory is off or I need to get rid of that point because oh dear and that's just snapping So either way, we have a problem there. And they were both created by that weird rotation that was caused by the Snap 2 feature. If you have other questions about dart rotation, let me know. Don't forget that this point has to be um, Right now it's a separate line instead of a three-point line. And this one you can see the little square intermediate point, so it's a three-point line. And this is one and two lines, so modify, line, combine this one and that one clockwise in an order, and then you can just rotate it.